on the Good evening. Welcome to What's New. We have a, let's see, we have a wonderful guest. <laughs> and that it makes your mouth water. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and this I'm Mary Ann Roth, this is Sarah Spencer, and that is Martha Rusinger. And we welcome you to our show. I hope all is well. And we'll let ours take over. Okay. And, and our us. new bakery lady that we're getting in St. Jen. Yay! Yes. <laughs> is a visitor tonight. <laughs> And you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself, how yeah. come you did this and all kind of yeah. stuff. Well, I'm, uh, I guess everybody, or a lot of people probably know me from the Hoover Schaff, uh family produce and goodies. We used to be down there as the Schaff brothers and now we've just kind of, after everything that, that we had so much fun and made so many friends, we decided to make the move and open a little bakery that we've always wanted to make to have and so we made the big plunge and we're almost ready to open <laughs> that's great and what are all your goodies goodies well we've got if anybody used to come down to the uh the produce market we used to have crumb cakes and we used to have cinnamon rolls and cookies and i've they, everybody says it tastes almost exactly like before the uh, jelly fingers we've got that down uh, bear claws we're going to be expanding to a lot of uh, gluten-free and sugar-free items and uh, we're going to try uh, all kinds of different things we're going to have in our little bakery we're going to also have like lunches and we're going to have soups and we're going to have uh, bread bowls homemade bread bowls and about, oh. about four or five different kinds of sandwiches anyway we'll be expanding as we we're going to start small and kind of build our way up but uh and some kind of uh kind of different sandwiches it's something that's not every day right. it's something a little bit different but we're uh we want to have fun and if anybody we've i put on i posted on facebook if anybody is interested if they have any ideas for sandwiches or soups which i've got about a hundred <laughs> <laughs> ideas oh, but it's good that you know that way we know what to make you know what people right. want and so uh, we're going to be putting a, a few of those as we go along. And so we're going to start small, but... You're going to have seating in there? We've got some seating. We can seat about eight to ten people. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put little tables outside. I was just going to ask you yeah. if you could do oh, that. Great. We're going to have little tables outside. And uh, they said that maybe we could go up to 15 after COVID, but there's not a lot of room. Right, right. But it's going to be mostly goes, and uh, I've got people lined up that I think we're going to have delivery. Oh, that would so be So if some of the businesses, you know, want to get together and, you know, come up with an order, I've got people that are going to do delivery for me and, like, people that can't get out of their houses or that are afraid to get out of their houses. So, and then we're going to do curbside. It may, you may have to drive up further than right outside the door, but we'll run up to you and, and get your order to you. I don't wow. know about you, Pat. Just just talking to you and, and knowing that we're getting this is yeah. so exciting. And I did hear or, or I saw somewhere on Facebook where you were asking people for different ideas on sandwiches and stuff. And I got really and I, I the one there was um, muffalata uh, sandwich and I I messaged my son. I said, "What's that?" He goes, "Oh, that's easy. I'll show you." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked it up and it isn't bad. <laughs> But it's something different. Like we're going to have a Cuban. My daughter in Florida uh, came up. She said, "You want to do a Cuban?" And uh, I looked it up, and we made it. We we, we did trial and error right. on the oh, sandwiches, right. and, uh, and, a, and a spicy Italian with uh, pepperoni peppers on it. Oh, that's good. Oh, I bet. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I and love then we've got a panini press, so we can press oh, them. So. Oh. So what would you, what would be your hours? Do you have? We're thinking probably. My son said if we open at five would be perfect, but either, either five or six, we haven't kind of pushed it down to like four or five in the in the afternoon. Or we and we're going out. to be closed on Mondays, but other than that, we'll be open every day of the week. Oh, okay. Even Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Monday is the only day you're going to be closed, mm -hmm. and you're going to be located where? It's one two three Merchant Street. It's between Bill's Photo Lab and the Audubon Hotel. It's a nice mm. little place. It is. It's Looks very really, nice it's, in there. It's cheery. Yeah. 
Nice if anybody uh, remembers, it was Melange. 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 Yeah. yeah, it was her store. So. I know when I first, after we started working and pulling stuff out and bringing stuff in, I'm like, this is never, ever going to make a bakery. You know, just, <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be done in, in weeks. But we, it's, after we were done uh, Sunday evening, we worked, and I looked at it, took a picture, and I'm like, oh my God, this really looks nice. <laughs> it will look uh, nice. It oh, looks, yeah. Everything that's been in there looked really nice. I know Jan, Jan, Janice Rotari, mm -hmm. she's an artist. She had a show down there. Oh, did she? And it was so nice. Oh, Her yeah. show was really nice because of the bright lights and the atmosphere in there. It's and then, of course, nice Patty and Bill's good bright. Oh. Lunch and they have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh they, they have got a beautiful building. It's just yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. But when we had Fourth Fridays, they always had uh, Patty is super duper at salads and all kind of fixings. She always had such good hors d'oeuvres before, you know, it was served during the Fourth Friday mm -hmm. art walk. Yeah. So Her what's fabulous. the name of the, what's, it, what's your name? It's called uh, Pat's Pastries. Ooh. And then that there are our logo, and then on the bottom of the logo it says uh, the Shaw Family Breads and Brew. Oh, so it's going to be a family restaurant. A family. All, all, all the kids are going to be working at some time. You won't see them all the time, but right, there'll be there. Everyone oh, that is helping great, out. all the isn't kids it? and the grandkids. Yeah, that's awesome. And my granddaughter from Cape, she uh, messaged me over the weekend. She goes, Grandma. Mom and Dad said I could come up and help you a couple days a week. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you. That's great. So, yeah. um, you want to tell us a little so bit about your son bakery? that hmm? Pat's is bakery. going to do? Pat's Bakery. Dwayne? Pastry. Yeah. Dwayne. Pastry. You do the Pat's Pastry? Pat's, Pat's pastry. Pastries. Yeah, yeah uh, my son Dwayne, he owns a Celebrations restaurant down in Cape. and It's a fine dining, but... Oh, I've been in there. You've been in there. I mean, it's for the average person, too. Right. He's made it to where for anybody. And then he also owns Ebb and Flow Fermentations down on uh, Spanish Street. Oh. What's the name of that one? Ebb and Flow, E-B-B, Ebb oh. and Flow. Oh, I've I been saw in there. I, I did see that. I've not been there, but I saw it. Yeah, and uh, he does his own. He brews. And I'm going to have to get, take you to crash course on this. He told me. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure what I'm doing. You'll <laughs> or, find out. Yeah. But uh, he does his own brewing, and uh, so he's got all of his licenses. He's getting all his licenses and things to go out of out of Cape. Uh -huh. to, and then uh, you to have sell. to get licensed. To I sell have to get there. a license yeah. and to go Inspected, through all the yeah. the liquor license in here. And uh, right, right. I know he sent me the paperwork for the federal license, and I'm like, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so is this um, tap beer or bottled? Down there, he has tap, but he has oh. bottle and cans. Oh, okay. Is oh, what he has. So it's it's going to be mostly. I don't know if he's going to have any tap at all, but okay. it's going to be Up mostly. Here. I think uh, the bottles and That's cans. Good. <laughs> he's, he was planning if we can can work it out to have some, but you with not having a lot of room, the seating, you won't right. be able to. Right. Yep. But it's going to be, and we've got the shelving that he's got all arranged that he's going to have all of his, and then you know, like a little cooler if you want cold beer. But oh, well, that's. He's got oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of people from, from St. Louis waiting to come down. Oh, I bet well, so. Well, that's great, yeah. Because they said, and he said a lot of them said, you know, I, I love your beer, but I can't drive two Are they, hours. Yeah. Yeah. Is he planning on distributing, like, later? Well, on? he does distribute through uh, Cofield. Oh, oh, does really? he? Cofield. Oh, okay. Cofield. Yeah. Co Cofield is how I'll have to buy it from Cofield. Oh, okay. okay. But, uh. Oh, because that's a designated. That's his uh, yeah. distributor. Right. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, and I know he said, uh, there's, there's people, and I know he said um, that he was supposed to be talking to Buffalo Wild Wings about getting his beer in there. Oh. Yeah. And a few of them, so. Oh, my goodness. He's made it, uh, we used to pick on him because he would, you would go to his house and he'd have all these little beakers of all this yeast and all these things. <laughs> and we're like, oh, my goodness. And his wife would sit there, April would go, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with him? <laughs> all of a sudden he started it and it's just, it's blossomed. <laughs> well, I heard from other people what an amazing uh, chef he was. He is. So that's, and he never went to school or anything. No, no. That's he never, what I heard. It was he all self-taught. Yeah. 
I heard that. So that was that was kind of neat. To yeah, he's been in a lot of magazines. He's been in uh, Forbes magazine. Really? Oh, they did interviews with him, and the Chicago Tribune or Times, one of them. I mean, he's just been he's been on Channel t uh, Channel Twelve or whatever out of Paducah. I'm not uh, sure what channel that is. Well, we might have to bring the St. Louis channels down here. We might have to. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's possible. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what's so exciting about it is the fact that. You're all from here, yeah. from St. Genevieve, and you're bringing all this to us. It's just something we've, well, my husband, he always wanted to own a bakery. Really? He always, he, when he was in the arm, whenever he was in the army, he was over in Germany and he was a cook. Oh. He got his cook, he had his cook certificate and everything, oh. and he always wanted to own a bakery. And well, with six kids, you never have money to, <laughs> and you know, we couldn't quit our jobs. Right to take a chance on a bakery. Right, exactly. So after he passed away, we're there like, you know, I just, I don't know, it just was something the kids and I talked about and talked about, and it just never came, and then, then finally I'm there like, you know, life is too short. Absolutely. I'm just gonna make the plunge, and all the kids all, each one has their own specialty that they do. Like so Jim sweet. does, uh, I know uh, he makes the noodles, <laughs> and he makes the, uh, the breads and things like that, and Kenny makes the barbecue sauce, and he makes the uh, Trey's leche cakes and all this. You, did you ever have that? I'm not sure. It's it's a it's a Mexican three milk cake. Oh, it's to mm. die for. Oh my oh gosh, Lord. guys! If anybody's out here, by the time you're done watching this show, you're gonna have gained ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And then when it happens, you can really gain right. it. <laughs> right, right. But no, it's just something, something, you know, it was a dream of ours. And the kids, and they said, Mom, we're just going to help you out. So they've been working down there. They, we haven't had to hire anybody to do anything. Kenny's been, That's been uh, doing all the work. I seen some, uh, I had to go down to the post office the other day and I seen two guys come out and I so badly wanted to go and say, can I walk in there? But I oh, didn't. If you're down there, I down. didn't because I knew they were busy. So I thought, because, oh, because I probably could have took them off there and started talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever down there on the weekends, we're there, just come on in. Okay, might just do that. Come on in. We're, we're close enough now. We're, we're having the health inspection Friday, so. Oh, really? Well, that's great. That's yeah. really close. Mm -hmm. Do you oh, have an opening date set? Depending on if we have to do anything after he comes, oh. uh, if not, we'll we if we pass right away or within mm -hmm. the next little bit, mm -hmm. is, we'll start working uh, weekends. We'll be open weekends until probably the the first of April, because I have um, I have to put put my two weeks you know notice in. Right. So I'll be working till the twenty something of March, and then we'll start right away. But we'll work weekends to right. kind of, we want to ease our way into it a little yes. bit. Yes, get so, a feel for what people want. Kind of get kind of used stuff. to it because it's been, it's been 30, no, 20, 25 to 30 years since I've worked in restaurants, so. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come natural. You've yeah, been yeah. doing all this baking anyway. Yeah, so it's, it's, just, just it's just that, the thing of if you're going to be busy and make sure you have, you know. Oh, the right people. stuff there and right. all that, yeah. So what? Uh, what will be some of the stuff that you can sell there that, oh, let me start over. Are you going to have your bakery plus the, uh, uh, what is that? Beer. No, the, we were just talking about down on the, uh, oh, the farmer's market. market. Oh, yeah, my you're going to have both. I could, we're going to be at the farmer's market. So you will too. have both yeah, of them. Yeah. Okay, so is there going to be something different? We probably won't have, well, our prices are going to have to go up a little bit because of having the storefront right. compared to farmers right. market. So we we're kind of playing with: do we want to do something a little different down there than what's up there? Or are people going? And it's not going to go up much. It's just going to right. be maybe a fifty cents right. a dollar an item right. to pay for the right. overhead of a building now right. and everything. But uh, we'll probably have some baked goods. We're going to have our canned goods, our noodles, our you know all the pasta sauces and all this. Okay, so like your canned stuff then. We'll have our canned stuff down there because and that we can't sell up in the oh, bakery okay. without having the, um, a course you have to take and you have to have an exhaust system, a big mm -hmm. exhaust system. And we, we didn't want to go through, well, it would take, well, a, it would probably tear up this building to well, have to change that. Probably be so are you going to bake there also? Up here, yeah. Up there. Yeah, we have, mm -hmm. we, we have ovens in there and 
We have everything in there. <laughs> and you got it all in already? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, God, I can't wait. Somebody <laughs> asked me if, uh, when I told them that you were coming, they wanted to know if you were taking over the old bakery. And I said, no. The old bakery's no. been going forever. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. gosh. I'm telling you, my mother-in-law used to work there. And yeah, Ma. Well, they yes, worked together. They yeah. did, yes, absolutely. And it was I so, it's so exciting. You know, it's, if, if anybody's ever tried, have you ever tried her dumplings? They're at home. Oh, my gosh. I always made my dumplings. Yeah. Always. I, 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 I do, too. Like I, don't. I buy them very, very, but very But it early. was so easy when I saw those dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> just to buy those, because they look just like mine. But well, my son, he's got it down to a, I mean, he measures the flour to an exact ounce, a gram of an ounce. <laughs> He's got his own, he, that's they, his thing. Are they rolled real thin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pretty, they're just like what I like. What, yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're real and thin. And I've put, I made thin. them with a roast, I made them with chicken, I, oh my gosh. Because I know I, I'm kind of thinking about having one of those special, or like a soup, you know, some of the hot things. I'm thinking about having a uh, chicken and dumplings one time. Oh my gosh, well, oh, that'll go over big. Yeah. Absolutely, because those are real homemade dumplings. Right. <laughs> right. Years and years ago, my sister-in-law has passed away, but we were really young, probably in our 20s yet. And she said, Iris, would you like to open a restaurant? <laughs> no, I don't want to work seven days right. a week <laughs> all I, day long i wish i just five <laughs> right i do not wish to do that <laughs> right <laughs> but she was the best cook too yeah. she was really a good yeah. cook and that's what it takes is somebody that loves to cook and loves to bake and they make it success right absolutely and we just love i mean i, I get i have so much fun with people coming in and talking oh and, yeah I, the people pass by and where they're waving, they come in. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I passed down there the other day and the lights were all on. I don't know who all was in there working because I went like that because yeah, I was driving. <laughs> the boys have been down there a lot. So this is Jim. He's been there every night almost. He, he, he went out to, to Walmart to pick up a few things yet for me quick, <laughs> but um, he'll be there tomorrow. I'm getting my internet and my phone, so. Oh. Um, were those coffee, I'm trying to think, those were coffee cakes? I think I bought this summer. It was like a cherry. Cherry, okay, yeah. I think it was a coffee yeah, cake. Yeah, in that little round. Yeah, thing. <laughs> yeah. The cherry, yeah. I had cherry, and sometimes I made peach. Yeah. Yeah. Apricot would be good. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I, there's, I've got lots of plants. It, it, it might not be every week, everything. Right. Oh. And it'd be good probably to have. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. that's what we thought with the sandwiches. We'll have. Yeah, run in there and see what they have. Oh, yeah. We'll have, you know, like whatever's on the menu for couple of weeks or so and then pull one off and, and put a different kind of sandwich on there and the soups we're going to rotate the soups and we're going to do vegetarian sandwiches a few of them and we, we're going to make uh, Mediter Mediterranean lentil soup for the vegetarians oh so be good so what kind of um Oh, let's start talking about something again here. I forgot what I was going to so I just get too excited about hearing all this stuff. That... I'm excited about going in some oh donuts and some pastry. Oh, oh, my God. So for the, for the donuts, can people, uh, like, place orders for oh, whatever? Yeah. yeah. You know, like now, if they're coming. Now, the donuts, what we'll have, we, we won't be able to do a lot of fried donuts because right. of the exhaust. But right. I've got the bake. We've got a recipe for baked donuts with the frosting and all that, and they are so moist, it's unreal. So we're just mm -hmm. gonna make a few different kinds of donuts, and like, if you need, um, we've got some orders for like baby showers for cupcakes. Right, I was gonna ask for that. Anytime anybody wants anything, they can call or get a hold of us. We're gonna have a, a, a regular phone that's mm -hmm. not my cell phone that everybody right. can call. Right. But so I'll be posting it, and we'll be telling everybody when I find out what it is. Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anytime anybody wants anything, and if there's something that anybody wants that they think might not be there in the morning, whenever they get there, they can always just get an order, and then I'll hold it back for them. Oh, okay. Or like say, say this week you had your, I'm gonna just say cherry coffee cakes, and you're not gonna do that next week, but somebody wanted it for next week, they could put that order in, yeah. and you would have it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If they, if I know they want it, then right. we'll make something. Right. Right. Okay. Oh my God, yeah, I know, isn't that awesome? <laughs> my mouth is watering already, <laughs> can't wait. Just yeah. the fact that we have, you know, it's 
I don't know. I think I'm just so excited that somebody from town, you know, is doing and to have another business in and town. to have another yeah. business. Absolutely. And I think you'll do well with visitors, especially so. on Sunday mornings because. Oh yes. Well, yeah, the B and B's are yeah. in the evening. They'll pick up stuff to eat in their rooms and. Um, oh yeah. Just different things. There's yeah. been so many of them while we're working. Will come and poke their head in. Are you open? I'm not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're coming back just for this. Yeah. But I think once people hear that and know that what you have, they'll come back. Yeah, because I have a sign up there that's coming soon. Because we don't have it, we're going to have the sign. I have our logo painted, but the guy hasn't gotten it to it, to right. it yet. So we're. I'm kind of rushing to figure something out quick. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture of it, enlarge it. I it don't up. think I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it somehow. I'll get something. And I know Bill offered to uh, do something with his machines for me to put in the window. So. Oh, that's good. We'll see yeah, because he can print big. Yeah. Really big. Yeah. So we can come up with something. And then I'll, we'll have a, the sandwich board and different things like that we'll have there. So. Oh, I can't wait. Are you going to post it on the window or once they come inside? What? You're going to post the menu on the window oh. or once they come inside? I, well, what I was thinking is uh, right inside, you're going to come in and you can go either go to Bill's or to mine. Right. And then in the corner, there's a little area that just is catching my eye. So I'm going to put a little table there, I think. And, and I'm going to put like some rack cards, business cards, some menus, things like that right in there. Oh, is that, that could, right when you come in? Yeah, when you come in, you know, before you go into the... Oh, before you go into the business yeah, out in the hallway. Yeah. And then my son has, uh, he has a TV monitor or TV set up where he's going to do like a, a, a slideshow of oh. the different menu items so they can see it too. Oh, well, that would be neat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're working... I got my on my. You high got all kids. kind of ideas, yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's we've got great a lot when of ideas. Start, yeah, yes. we've got a lot of ideas. It's just we're going to start slow and. Yeah. And that's good. You know? So you're just going to start with just being on the weekends for right now. Probably a couple weeks, depending how soon we get to start. I've got. You're going to be busy on weekends, I tell you. Oh. Once you open that door, you're going to be just. Swamped. I think so because I was so I was get I was doing orders a couple weeks ago yet. <laughs> I I was. And I kind of said, no, I'm going to have to quit now until I get it all <laughs> finished. Right, yeah. right. Oh, Pat, this is so exciting. It is. It's just kind of nerve-wracking. I'm like, oh, is this the right decision? And then the closer it gets now and the closer it gets, it gets more exciting. It's just when I get over that one hurdle of the health inspector. <laughs> <laughs> now I know it's where I, I remember you from down at the farmer's market because I always went in with those little cakes. Which one? Was it the peanut coffee cakes, maybe? The little, um, I think it was the little bread. Oh, okay. The different loaves of bread. You had yeah. different kinds, yeah. Yeah. and I'd buy one of each. <laughs> <laughs> well, I try to think, I kind of watch, you know, as you start down there, it's kind of like you watch what people buy, and like, well, I can't eat all this, you know. And a lot of them will be there, I wish I had. So we start making it in smaller, like small loaves, mm -hmm. individual oh, little yeah. half dozen oh. cookies, things yeah. like that. Oh yeah, yeah, I used to buy. But some people like that just to buy it, take it for a snack. Yeah, somewhere. right. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. what we're gonna ha try to make it easy for anybody that wants to, you know, like we're gonna have cookies, you know, just individual cookies. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to go walking somewhere, hiking or something, right. put them in a little bag and they can take them with them. So, and then my daughter-in-law makes. She, I don't know if anybody of you guys were on Facebook, but she is uh, Missy Page. My daughter-in-law, they used to make all the cookies. Uh -huh. So she's going to make cookies for us again, so off and on. Not all the time, but right. wow. Oh, <laughs> she makes some awesome yeah. cookies. So you talk about decorated cookies or just like? It's just regular cookies. Oh, like, regular cookies. Uh, the okay. monster cookies oh, yeah. and uh, yeah. like chocolate uh, chip. she had uh, oh, Those chocolate kinds. chip and she had like energy cookies. Energy and cookies. And oatmeal are good. Oatmeal energy cookies she had. They said people say they were to die for. I said, that, you know, I didn't know it was healthy to eat, <laughs> eat that for breakfast. <laughs> well, I know uh, the stuff you had down in the farmer's yeah. market. I loved. <laughs> well, I just bought the stuff. I just, I just thought, I, so will you have like, oh, you'll have your jelly. So down at the farmer, yeah, farmer's, we'll market, market, farmer's market, you'll yeah. still have your jellies and, and uh, I'm trying to think of what all was down there. We had pasta sauces and um, yeah, I remember spaghetti sauces. sauce and... Oh, I just, I, I don't even remember. Didn't you, have, yeah. didn't you have a chili sauce? 
Uh, there was a taco sauce. Uh, Maybe and, and she, uh, Kenny made an, an enchilada sauce. Okay, I think it was the taco sauce. He had two kinds of enchilada sauce. yes. sauces, and he had um, something else. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to think, too. There was a sauce I bought, but you didn't mention it. <laughs> I'm trying to think, because we've tried a few different ones, and we ran, and then I had a bruschetta. We made bruschetta, which that one we'll make again, and we'll have our, our own French bread for it. We'll oh, my goodness. Oh, God. <laughs> you know that'd be something for you know you're right across from <laughs> yes, you're right. listen to me oh i gotta yeah, make you know why cookies. i'm so big you guys they can go get some cookies, cookies and, and get some ice, ice cream and smack in between <laughs> well, sarah came up to me a couple oh weeks God. ago and she said we're gonna have to get a special together she said you got cookies i got ice cream we'll make ice cream sandwiches there you <laughs> go you know when you think about it it's just mm -hmm. oh my gosh I'm just so excited, and it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> it is. It's, it's oh, yes, it does. I'll be a customer. <laughs> it's, it's very exciting. It's kind of nerve-wracking, but it's exciting. Yeah. I'll oh, tell you God. what. When you were down there, and I, I just seen all that food. Now, you'll still have, like, the fruits and vegetables and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, we're going to have the fruits and vegetables. And actually, our little, uh, the Hoover shop uh -huh. is actually, we're going to expand to, we're going to have potatoes this year. Sweet potatoes. Uh, I think Tom said they're going to plant peanuts. Even oh my god, they're goodness. going to they're expanding. Our amount of vendors are going to expand. We're going to have more people. Oh really? Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, uh, Becky Long with the Rustic Plank Road Rustics or whatever yes. she is. Like, yes. Uh, she had been there some, and she's going to come join us more often. And uh, there's a few other people. And uh, I can't think of their names right now, but uh, they have the goats out on Emerald. I, oh, they want to oh, come join us. BG Farm? I bet it's no, not. No, uh, it's down there. It's oh, down on Emerald. Emerald. It's, it's down I, Emerald. I know what you're talking about. I can't think of their names, no. and I, I'm, she's going to kill me. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't think of her name. <laughs> well, you see me while ago. I was so excited. I couldn't even talk, tell you a couple of things I wanted. <laughs> no, um, I know who you're talking about, though. But I know I, they're going to be joining us and a few other people with some produce and things. I think um, uh, the Kreitlers are going to have some, hopefully some pumpkins they want to have this oh. year. So we're going to expand what we right. have and the amount of our vendors. That's awesome. So we're hoping to just just fill that whole parking lot full of people. <laughs> be bigger than the farmer's market. <laughs> well, no, but well, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good spot down there. And well, easy. and it's... Well, it is. I mean, you'll have, like on the weekends when people are in town you, and all kind of events, um, probably you'll be right able to be down there when you're people, fat, Yeah, right? and when people know that you're open on right. Sundays. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I, uh, I know we've had so many people that were tourists come down to, to, to our little market yes. there. Because they'd say, is this okay to take to St. Louis or will it melt or, you know, this? Right. Or, Right. And so I know, and, and I, we've had some from Texas and Florida and all over come down there. When the visitors are yeah. in town, they, yeah. So it's, it's, it's going to be fun this year. <laughs> well, you know, it's going to be exciting. You're, you're, you're one that likes, I mean, I don't mean this in a, I mean this in a good way, talk. So when the visitors do come in yeah. town, you're going to find out. When I worked at, I helped work at the bakery too, when I was even them were there. And just going, just coming in and hearing the people where they were from, and mm -hmm. yeah. how did you get here? What brought you here? Right. You know, and that's why I like. We were at the Valley House with our uh -huh. art for oh yeah a long time, and now up at the Art Center, and people come in, and they're visitors. You wonder how they even found our yeah. little town. How, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just unreal how many people I see. I, I never really paid much attention because I'm out of town. Right. But. Since we've been in there working on that, it was, there's just unreal the amount of traffic. And you don't even know who they are. No. It's the, it's the yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, they have these so many strangers in town. Right. Well, they moved here because they wanted to get out of the city. You know what? So we've got some from Festus here new and a few from St. Louis that are new. You know, they're just... There's a guy that comes through McDonald's every morning. He gets, his, he gets a drink and... He just told me today that he, they moved here six months ago from Colorado. Oh, my. And I said, you mean you tell me you don't want to be out there this weekend with all that snow? <laughs> <laughs> he said no. And he said, you know, it's really funny when, you know, when they were moving here that, um, you know, we'll have much snow. 
and then we got that great. We got that no. big one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I said, well, that's probably one. I think our last biggest snow we had was probably back in '83, wasn't it? Oh, probably. The biggest. I mean, a big one like big that. Big one like that. I mean, yeah. we might have had six, seven inches, but nothing like we did. Was, <laughs> it, was, it was enough. Right, yeah. right. And, and the wind nothing. making the drift. That's oh, yeah. what it did. That's what the blizzard. Oh, the <laughs> yeah. blizzard we had. But yeah. the 83, we had the blizzard, too, yes. because our road was blocked off. You couldn't even go out our road. Really? No. <laughs> it was. The kids were over at Don and George, was over the top of the snow. Oh, my goodness. Kevin Beckett had uh -huh. his car back, I mean, pulled up to the snow, and it was higher than his car. <laughs> Oh my God! We had a lot of fun going down the hill to the creek. <laughs> oh yeah! And we took the snowmobile out, snowmobile out that year, in the all the farmland. I kept saying, "Dave, there's fences out here. Do you know where they're at?" <laughs> we never did hit one, so I guess the fences were covered up good enough, or he knew what he was doing. <laughs> right. But you should have a lot of business with all the traffic down there. Oh yes. I hope. Well, I think you will. I Everybody's think so. waiting for I, the bakery. Everybody's. I know my son that works at the hospital, Kenny, he says, Mom, how soon can we open? He said, Everybody's asking me that they want to come down. I go, Well, as soon as I can. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to have like coffee? We're going to have coffee. Okay. Uh, my The son and Kate, uh -huh. uh, he and his wife, they roast their own beans and stuff, so they're going to, to, oh to be bringing gosh. coffee up. Will they sell it? Do they have coffee that they sell? She had it at the market, but yeah, if somebody wants some, you know, I can get some for them. Really? How much? Is that uh, organic or is it? I'd have to find out. I'm not sure exactly what all she does, so I can find out. No, where they, it would have to be where they buy their beans if yeah, they're organic. Yeah, and not. I'm not sure where they buy their beans oh. from. But well, the markets aren't open yet, is no. it? No. I didn't think so. Oh, but you were open, open. Till probably I, I was November. open till I was open. I was there with my gloves on. <laughs> right. Well, I remember the one time because you kept out you at where I'd go down there and she'd say, "Well, we're going to be down here as long as it's," and I think it was the one. I don't know. It was close to one of the last weekends. I thought, "Oh my gosh, it's getting cold." It's I getting cold. And then <laughs> even when we closed, I have people. But okay, I'll get. So I'd have orders out of this world. And, I'd sit there with my car and my gloves on. <laughs> yeah, you met me down there one yeah. time. Yeah, I met you. At, I did that till Christmas anyway, because I because I had Christmas cookies orders and the Hutzel bread and the mm. fruit cakes. Well, I'm just excited because I'll know that for this year. Yeah. So you don't, do you only make like the Hutzel bread around Christmas time, or I can make it more often. I guess. I mean, it's nothing. Specifically, okay, so that or, I can't. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not really a festive bread. No, it's just I mean, a, it's nothing that takes bread. specialty not, I, yeah, items that are all. that are you know right. available. And I know what we're going to try to do is like when they have um, festivals or you know like a German oh, or yes. a French, we're going to try to make stuff that goes along. With yeah, some it. items exactly. like yeah. some desserts or right. some pastries and maybe some kind of. Sandwich, oh, or sandwich or soup or something, something that would go with it, and like, if it's German, and we're we're, we're going to try to kind of go along with go the, along with the uh, yeah. the theme. That'll be neat. Oh yeah. my gosh! I hope. I hope and I think in June it. is it in June or when Sassafras is having that oh. big vendor? Well, there's something. There's a bunch of vendors, honey, and then Honeybee's honey going to honey honey have Honeybee's going to have one too. So there's two of them. Oh, there's actually. two of them. Okay. Yeah, because I think the Sassafras didn't they advertise? one time on Facebook about having vendors down there? I'm not sure. I don't really do Facebook. Oh, okay. But I know Yeah, I'm on there all the time. I'm, I'm the on there. Honeybee their, is. I'm on there <laughs> advertising all the time. And that's good. I mean, I don't do Facebook, so I, the only thing I really have on Facebook is my um, my daughter, my kid, my grandkids. But then, um, you know, once you got, you got there, that guess, private, don't you? Really? Yeah, that's pretty, yeah. That's, I really don't do and then, but then all of a sudden I'd see all these people's names and I'm thinking, well, how can I see, like with you guys or something that's coming up, I'm thinking, how did that come on my, I, I didn't get any of that or I didn't, but then I think I did confirm a few friends. So now I have a few did friends. Did you maybe, because we would but I think that, share it on like what's happening in St. Well, Jen. Well, I think that's where I see going on what, and yes, Bloomsdale 411, yeah. different ones like that we try to get around to. Right. To everybody when we're doing something. I like that what's happening in St. Jude. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much where I, and I really kind of look on there, you know, not, but there's a couple times I looked on there and um, a couple different people had 
our different businesses had what they were having for lunch that day or whatever. But I don't get on get on it every day. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know if it was that oh, day that or day. Yeah, I'd be sure to put your dates and the day of the week on yours. Yeah, so you because know. I noticed on my Facebook, it might be three days behind. I don't know if yours yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. 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 because you don't did. always get them. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then I'm, see, I take care of the Hoover Shoff, you know, our little thing. And I take care of the Hoover Farms for them. And then I have the Shoff Brothers. Now I have, and myself, and now I have Pat's Pastries. Oh, my so gosh. So it's kind of flip-flopping between there yeah. and... So you got five businesses to take care of. <laughs> oh my Lord, you're good for punishment, especially <laughs> just the bank rate. I mean, when you, you need a hire a auditor. I mean, not an auditor, an accountant. Secretary or <laughs> accountant. Well, that's well probably with all your kids, somebody's got that talent. Well, Brian's he's he just graduated. He got his bachelor's in uh, business advertising and management. So he's been doing my website and my oh, menus and. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. I kind of pushed him into my Facebook. <laughs> doing some of doing my stuff. That, yes. Well, when I would take off on Fridays, I'd spend half my day answering people's or you know, you'd hear oh. bing bing and you'd go or somebody's, hey, can I have this? And you'd hurry up. Might. <laughs> Dizzy. <laughs> so I said, God. You might need an answering service too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> an accountant and that would answer everything. Oh, <laughs> oh, Pat. This is just exciting. It I'm is. Happy it's, for it's, you. Really, it's really exciting. It, what's it saying? Good things come to those who wait yeah. and look at it. So I said, I said, you know, I've there's so many people I have seen in the last, and I don't know if it's due to COVID or what the what <laughs> right. it is. So many people, not that much older than me, have died oh, just every week, and it oh, hit so awful. it hit one week. There was like four people that was close to my age, and I'm like, okay, I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't right. care what I'm doing. Right. It. And it and it keeps you younger to be busy, busy and make your mind occupied. Yeah, right. And it's it's something. COVID it, did a lot of it's, harm to it's, yeah, it too. Did. People that don't didn't work, right. and people that work couldn't work. Right. So it did a lot of harm to it everybody. Messed a lot of people up and put weight that. on them, and it put some oh. people just couldn't take the stress, didn't know what to do this with themselves all day long. Right. And that's one thing too. We were, I'm going to put up the signs, but everybody at market, they have been. They, they were wonderful. We had our six foot distancing, but no, I didn't have any issues with anybody or any. Everybody kept their distance. They didn't get too close. Right. So we'll have our signs up, and we'll be wearing our gloves and our masks. But right. we're not saying everybody has to wear masks. But you yeah. know, you know, we'll make sure. Well, that well I think safe. once everybody gets their second shot. They, it's not a proven, but they didn't know what they were doing through this whole thing. Yeah. But it's not a proven that you're going to be all right, right. and safe. But how many people right. are, really get sick now? St. Jen's really low. And we've been, we've been pretty we've been blessed. Except with this yeah. we have stomach been blessed. that's been going around in the last... But they don't count as a <coughs> Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, you're right. But there is a bad stomach <laughs> flu bad, that's going yeah, around. Yeah, that was it last 24 hours or something like that I they think, said? Well, a couple, yeah. uh, some of them at work had it a couple of days. Oh, have so, they? Yeah. But, um, but that could be COVID, absolutely. too. Absolutely. You don't know you that. You don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, that's Because what's <laughs> the symptoms are so much alive. Right. But the fever, I read on the government's web website one time. This was a while back, so it probably changed. Right. But if you have a temperature, you probably have COVID. With flu, you, hard, you don't get as much fever. Oh, really? That's what it said on oh, there, but I don't think people had I fever have with fever with the flu. People have fevers with flu. When you're sick, your body really sick, it. Yeah. You're yeah, I would yeah. Think if you're so sick. I think that was just a, one of those she things. She was definitely <laughs> sick for four days. Yeah, that was one of those. She things. had yeah. it. She had the flu. Yeah, mm. <laughs> but that my family that family was quarantined in. Sue didn't have it, but the husband had it and the daughter had it. He didn't have it bad. He got it from school. <laughs> yeah. And so she bad. got it because she went to a wedding. And this woman had it and, and was diagnosed. Yeah. And, and she was supposed, and she yeah. was positive, And she was determined to be at that wedding. Mm -hmm. She went to that yeah. wedding. Those 35 people at that wedding got it. Yeah. I think that was a big thing with some of the, the I, and I think that's what's really worrying some of the, you know, the big people are. The people that are really watching this that you know you're gonna get they're gonna this summer they're gonna forget that there was COVID and they're gonna be in these great big 
bunches and parties and stuff like that. Now, well, I, I'm not going to say I'm not going to wear my mask. Do I like it? Absolutely not. I can't, I can't stand the, the paper one or the, the blue one, the paper one. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I can't wear those. I like these. <laughs> yeah. So I have different cloth ones that yeah, I, I like, wear. Yeah, I like ones like this. And uh, Carolyn Herman makes some real nice ones with a little piece of metal in there. Oh, yeah, well, that's how I made nice mine. Ones. I took. I love her. I made this pattern off of uh, the internet. There was one on one of the sewing oh. channels. I mean, sewing right. websites. And I, it was loose on my nose, mm -hmm. like this, which I do most right. of the time now. So I took a piece of fabric and folded it in threes oh. and ran a one out of one of those paper ones. Right. I took the metal mm -hmm. and I just ran it through there. Now it needs cutting off because it's. It's, uh, it's jabbing me in my face because this is all raveled now. I should have sealed the end. I should have sealed the ends of this too. Yeah, I made it go in from one end. But most of the time, if you want air, you can just round this out instead of bending it on your nose. Oh, and yeah. the air can get down in right here. Right in there. Yeah. And it's better for me because I can't breathe with this right. mask on because right. I have COPD. Yeah. yeah. It's so. it's they're just kind of. But I'll, I mean, I'll wear it and I'll you know, respect everybody that. You know, but there's more people that are around me that don't want to wear it. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I, you know, I, I, don't I was amazed anything. how many tourists are wearing theirs. I mean, I see them walk. Oh by yes, and they, they, they do. Yes, they, they do. are. They wear their mask. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was, I think it's a good thing. I don't think it's that that bad to me. I mean, if, if it's just me and the kids, we don't. Right. You know, you know, no. But whenever somebody comes in. I'll, We'll make sure, and you know, make yeah. sure and have yeah. it on. But yeah. It's gonna be yeah, because people from that you're not around, right. you don't you know, know about that come from them. Out of town, you have no idea, right. and you know they may not even know it. That's yeah. right. You know, they, that's the thing. That and I think that's what I worry more about, is that I'm gonna be around somebody that doesn't even know it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and we lost my husband lost his best friend from the army with it. He was only 69. Mm -hmm. Listen to me talking all my six and I you know, shame. right up at yes. You know, we're still young. We're still young, Pat. I know. <laughs> that's because I know not, I know that's what my daughter Mandy in Florida, she keeps telling me, she goes, she, Yeah, Dan wants to ask how old you were. He goes, oh, she's never gonna quit running around. No. <laughs> no. And if you do, then guess what? Then then, then you get old. Right, then you get old. Yeah, you're I, gonna have to come down to the shop. Uh, she's having special shirts made for us and hats. Oh with our logo, gosh. so oh, that's neat. So are those for sale, or she's gonna have some that we're gonna have have some eventually for sale. Okay, well then I'll. It, it won't be the first day or anything. Right, right. We all get. She, 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 uh, she uh, said, "Mom, we're gonna get you some some shirts and hats." So well, that's awesome. So that way, everybody has the same. Dress it, a lot. They'll have different colors, but the same logo and right, things. And right. She's going to have little sayings on the hats for the boys. Oh, I don't know if they know oh, it. So it's all there. Oh, oh <laughs> gosh. So who's going to be actually working with you? Well, uh, will it be you all use the same same time? Or no, well, like Nathaniel, or Jimmy. Mm -hmm. His real name's Nathaniel. He's the one that works out at Overlays. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He's going to be helping me a lot whenever he's off. And Brian, until he finds a job, okay. he's going to be coming in and helping me. And then Wendy's going to help her and Tom and Jaden as they're off from right. from uh, McDonald's. Right. <laughs> are going to be helping me. <laughs> and so uh, over the weekends, Wendy will and Kenny's going to be coming in and helping me. And Paige is going to be making cookies here and there every so often. So, and I've got a few friends that are going to come in and help me do deliveries and things and help oh, me that's do things. Awesome. So we're just going to kind of play it by ear and. So you may right. be by yourself, or you may have help. No, well, yeah, well, we'll always have at least two. Yeah, have somebody. Yeah. yeah. In the morning, maybe only one, but when it gets to be lunch hour, we'll have to have two people. Yeah. Right. At least. Right. <laughs> and then we'll we have uh, one person to do uh, delivery or curbside. Right. I think well, you're going to find out so that you're going to be busier than you expect. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I really well, do. Well, I see. You? I've got a friend that she can't get out, and it kills me that I don't have time to take her things. So I right. thought this would be the perfect thing. Oh, absolutely. Different people, and there's a lot of older people that they, you know, they can't get out, or they're afraid to get out. Right. Where they could just call, and we could. Take and you can make little flyers to give to them. Mm -hmm. That's what right. we're going to do. We're going to do that. And I know I've got different businesses 
that if you if you deliver, we get tired because because they can't either they can't leave right, or they right. don't want to take the time to fight traffic. Right. So they can. I said, I, we, we just ask that if like a a, a, a bigger building, mm -hmm. all put their order together and right. not you know by by the time you get there and then somebody else calls to go. Th right. But if they right. can get together, well, we're gonna you know say something to people if they can get together. Whoever wants it for this place or that place, get right. your order together and we'll deliver it to you. Right. That's awesome. It is. So now, Pat, do you make cakes and stuff too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. we're gonna make. <laughs> they may not be perfectly decorated yet, but um, oh, and one I of my daughters are gonna, are gonna help work on them. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. So I didn't know it was that kind. Of, I was just thinking it was like. And just cake, cakes. We're gonna have cake, cake cakes too. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna have somebody wants a little bit decorated or something, right. and we're gonna have cupcakes and cookies and muffins. And you know, a lot of times people now are doing cupcakes for like birthday cakes. Yeah, mm -hmm. because people don't want to eat sweets as Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter uh, in Kansas had that for my granddaughter, like a birthday cake. It wasn't a cake, but it was made like it, one. It, 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 in tears. It was all, yeah. it was all cupcakes. Yeah, and I've seen where they make them into a shape. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. it was. It was made in a shape. All the cupcakes. Or they have shape. several cheers going down. With yeah. Kinds on. yeah. So it's also it's a pretty neat. No, we're... We're, if if anybody wants something, we'll try our best to make it for them. So, and we just have to be patient. Be patient it's a with brand us. New, yeah. It's a brand new and thing. And if you have to wait, ho hopefully we'll get faster. But <laughs> you will just be patient. Right. You will. Oh, I can't wait. You for know. Bread you know, and I think that the thing if people just have the, if they understand that they can make orders. Yeah, that's and, what we're going to stress. You know, that if you, if you place this, if if you really want something, place that order. Couple of days, especially couple if you days know about it, yeah. you know. Yeah. And we're going to do like rolls, like dinner rolls, Hawaiian rolls, and different things like that. We're going to do. So. Oh my God. Oh my lands. May not be, and it won't be at the same time, but right. you know, we'll be, and if, we'll have, you know, if somebody, if we're going to be telling people if you want something, if you want some some dinner rolls for, say Easter oh, yeah. or something, right. just let us know, and we'll. And you'll have them. We'll have them. There you go. Oh. Awesome. If yeah. I make all my kids, my kids will dis 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 disinherit me probably or disown me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I no. think I, I'm sure. It's got, it's, I mean, we have fun because I know we're down at market and Wendy will be picking on me and yelling at me and everybody's laughing and people come up and, and they go, what are you two up to? <laughs> right, right. But everybody, everybody gets a and, well, it, and it's, it's gotten to be like family. All the customers right. are like our family almost. Right. Like we have a huge family. Right. I didn't get down there. I, I always say, where's this shop? And where's, it's on Wednesday nights. Where, where do they have this at? And it, you had the address right there on Well, the, it's <laughs> just an odd place. That's why up there, whenever we're at the shop, I'm going to, you know, anybody that asks, you know, we're going to have flyers and then they can walk, you know, somebody that doesn't right. think about it can go down there. Right. Right. And I think once people see it, especially this summer, this is a perfect yeah. time to be starting. It'll be good. It'll, it'll be a perfect time. Yeah. Yeah, we will. Well, yeah. You we'll know, have, and we'll have uh, the sandwich boards out on the street and our signs. And I've got Becky working on some cute little things for me <laughs> hanging in there for my open and close. So, <laughs> you know, um, you know, St. Jen has um, the like the ball tournaments, people come in and stay in town. I mean, you know, some of them stay in town, so that'd be something that... We had a lot of people come through. I guess it was, I don't know if it was ball or band, whatever they have, you know, like back on the uh, football field, which I know they do like band. The band. I, oh, and I don't know the if they've yeah, done they it. had band uh, and they had they uh, didn't, turn, uh, was basketball. It, they didn't have it, I don't think they had Yeah, it. I think it wasn't a basketball that just, just... They uh, had something, and it was during the day, and I know uh, we had a few people come by there, and they go, oh, gosh, I wish I would have known you guys were here. We just spent on the how much on the competition, pre -packaged. The band competition, oh. yes. Yes. There was something as ladies that are like, oh my God, I wish I would have known. Right. I would have come down here and gotten stuff. Right. Right. So, and you know, and that's something um, we can, you know, we could let the uh, teachers know at both schools uh, when they have something on the weekends, like whether they oh, have yeah. um, track, sort sometimes that's in the evenings, but. Um, but Most of the time, it's right after it's school. Right after school. Yeah. So you can have ball tournaments this summer. Um, 
kind of thing. Oh, and I know they have soccer. Yeah. The kids play yeah, soccer. And people from out of town that, uh, you mm -hmm. know. Do they have big tournaments? Um, yeah. Yes. Or, or they competitions? Do. Yes. Or? They, yes. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yes, they do. Um, so, trying to think of some of the stuff that they, oh my gosh, there's, there's a lot that goes on. And I think once, and, and look at the, when the water park opens. Yeah. You know? The kids, the, the parents run the all parents, the time with kids now. Absolutely. Oh, my daughter, she, because she's they, always gone. Yeah, yes. and when we were young, it was safe. So we rode our bikes or walked everywhere. Absolutely. <laughs> but, you know, you Remember can't. Remember walking from town up to the city park to the swimming pool. Yeah, and you keep the kids, you, you don't know whether to let them do that anymore because. Oh, well, no, people don't do that. I mean, I. Don't want my grandkids oh, to my, not Well, my oldest kid, <laughs> my, the, like the older ones, don't know if the oldest, safe. Right. three right. or four of them, they used to walk from school all the way oh, out to, uh, would you speak Hedges? Yes. And they yes. would go there and they'd walk themselves. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, Wendy's little boy, uh, Seth, when they had the uh, the Christmas walk, I, I set up outside oh, yes. of Bill's. And he was running around and I'm, I was not, not I was crying. Like, where is he? Where is, where is he? he? Yeah. Grandma, I'm okay. I'm like, no. Don't I, I, you I don't know. <laughs> there, there are people around that right. I don't know. You know. And you know, you wonder if that always went on or if it's worse now. Yeah, I don't know. I know years ago you used to hear about it every once in a while, but it might have been bad and we didn't have social media yeah. where we, we heard hear about it, it so didn't much. We heard about it as much. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because how many did they just find again? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're finding hundreds of these kids in towns. Right. Yeah. Right. So sad. It's scary. It is. I don't even have no kids, and I don't have no great-grandkids yet, but it is very scary. <laughs> I have grandkids, and I'm oh, telling I'm going to have my eighth great-grandchild. Oh, Your my. eighth one? Lucky you. Yeah. yeah I had three How come of some them. people get all the kids, and I don't get none? <laughs> I've, had three, I've had three. I guess I'm not year. a fit grandmother. <laughs> oh, that is I had a great-grandchild in October, and in February, and I'm going to have one dog. Oh, my God. That's oh, awesome. That is That's awesome. awesome. Yep. Yeah. Well, I ran with my kids, and then I went. And we didn't a, have to run with ours. Ours were in a good. They got to go by themselves. My kids. Oh yeah, did. I walked all over yeah, by the, myself. The kids pretty well. My kids pretty well did that. Yeah, day. but the next bunch of that, their but kids. The, I think it's different. Was totally different. different. It's a whole lot. Yeah, I was different. raised by a policeman, and everybody was scared to death to do anything to me. <laughs> He was oh. the, he was a hmm. <laughs> let's say he was just a cop. A plain old cop boy. It was right or wrong. There was no in between. So Pat, is there anything that we haven't asked you that you might wanna uh, let me check my notes real quick. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh you got it. Yeah. Well, yay, go down it. Let me see. I think we've covered everything that I thought of, but um well, I'm just going to have everything. Right. I was going to ask you if you, if you thought you could put tables outside. But you yeah, said, yeah, we're going to have awesome. we're going to have a couple of tables outside, and uh, we're going to see how many of them we can kind of probably two of them anyway. Right. But we can we can do and then we've got little bar stools, a couple of bar stools at the at the right inside that big picture uh -huh. window. Oh yes. So that's what Dwayne said. Mom, put some there in case somebody wants to sit and have a cup of coffee or something. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's so. That'd be neat. Yeah, the uh, the grandkids, uh, uh, Jaden and Chloe, are going to decorate my window for Easter. So I was going to say, oh, you know, that oh, window is nice to have. Yeah, oh, it's the people will be yes, sick. It is. Yes. Well, I was going to put something there, and Dwayne said, I, I think people might want to sit there, and so we decided just to put some Easter decorations, like hanging, and then right inside on the side there. Uh -huh. Well, you know, right across. But the that's kind of low for uh, bar stools, though, isn't it? That window. Unless you do the 24 inch ones, I think you maybe. do a small one. Yeah, it's, yeah, not the yeah, tall Yeah, we don't ones. have real big ones or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I'll probably. So I think it'll work if they can sit there and just. Right. It may hold not their, be the most comfortable. They can they hold their sit. coffee. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, but we'll have coffee. Uh, we'll have iced tea and hot tea, and then we've got some. We'll have some drinks. We'll have, what? We're not going to push the the drinks, but right. we'll have like waters and a few varieties of, of sodas and right. some drinks for the kids. So oh, that good. way, if somebody's walking through and they want something, and they or, just want something. or if they get a go and they want to, like tourists want to get a go and right. sit down, they can get a drink. But right. we're going to have a uh, hot tea and cold tea too. So, well, and you know, across, let's see, it's sort of two um, benches across. So, like Sarah's is here, and then the antique store, 
um, there's a bench. There's, there's a bunch of benches. There's a couple. Yeah, there's a bunch of benches, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of benches there. Of, there's some up a, between Citizens Building yes. and there, and then there's some. We need to start calling right that on the side of Sarah's. There's like <laughs> right. two or three. Of well, them. and you know what? Um, the, the ones right by where, like Bella. Bella why do I? Why do I say Bella? I have a. Oh, I, it's the Bell gazebo I there. Yes. Um, has that's got not good theirs, seating. Is it? No, that's okay, the city. So it's the city. So that yeah, they the could gazebo sit over they there. Could sit in. Yeah, I have seen a lot of them. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a bench on both sides. Absolutely. So that's what I mean. That's why I I didn't you know it was just something a little extra that right. we thought would be kind of kind of kind of fun to have. Right. And so we knew we couldn't have a lot of seating. So right. We thought well, but even we'll a kind couple of, little chairs outside. It's kind of like what Station Two used to do. Right. You know, it was to go sandwiches right. and with a little bit of seating. Right. So that's that's awesome. We're, we're trying to kind of add kind of a, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know that'd be perfect for people that that are, um, I know some people at at the hospital um, just want to go somewhere and grab a sandwich and so they'll take you know they'll make an order and send it somewhere and yeah. and uh, so that would be perfect. And we're just trying to make something that's fast for people and easy. Right. And so. delicious and homemade. Home <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. The homemade. homemade. Yeah. You know, yes. all those packaged home sandwiches home. just have the wrong taste to right. them because do. of the preservatives. Right. Yeah. Right. That's so, right. do you have a stove in there that you could, mm -hmm. that you're We're cooking gonna, the soup? We, we've got a regular Excuse stove. Me. Yeah, we, we've got Good that. Soup. And then we've got like the little steam tables that oh. are to keep it warm. And, but uh, I've got a regular stove. We've got like a subway. <laughs> Oh. The little oven with the little proofer, and then we've got another one over to the side. Oh my goodness! Wow! <laughs> it's like if you come, it's just all the way around. There's 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 oh, appliances. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah. I bet. To the back there. Yeah, all the way to the yeah, back. Yeah, right wall. in the very back. But you there. know what? That's a long building. It I is. Mean, it doesn't. Way. It didn't seem like I didn't think I had as much room till we got everything kind of in place now, and we've rearranged. Did you take that bar out that was in there? Is it still there? Which bar? You mean the like one that goes this way, like the building's long this way, and then the bar was here. Everything's in there yet that was in okay. there. Everything we've got. So the, yours is all behind that. We've got uh, the little, the little like the cash register area that he had, mm -hmm. and then we've got a table this way, and then that little. I guess Pam used it or whoever had well, Penny, lunch. Penny had Pen the, she had the barber hair. shop. The, that one with all the little cubicles, the yes. little glass oh, cubicles. Oh, that, yes. So we're going to fill those. That's still in there. Yeah, we're going to fill that with items oh. to sell. Oh, so that okay. went to, that was gonna have, Oh, I thought we're gonna, that those were hers. I didn't it, it's Bill's. Oh, well, I think, he, I think he says she left them maybe for Oh, him. okay. Oh, okay. Have okay. But uh, yeah, those Penny are built a display case for me from scratch. A beautiful big display case. So. Oh, my. We've got that, and then we're going to do some prepackaged already, and we're going to put them around in different things that we've got around there. And then we're going to have um, uh, Nick Rogers Honey again. We're going to have it down there and in inside the building. So who's who is that? Uh, Nick Rozier, exit 157 Apiary. So is that local honey? Yeah, up in Bloomsdale. Oh, okay. He was the one. I had his honey down at the market. Oh, okay. okay. I did, I couldn't remember who that was. All right. So we're going to have it up there too That's for good. him. And then my uh, my uh, brother and uh, sister-in-law, they've got the Fritch Farm honey, too, so we're going to put that in there, too. Okay. So we've got that, and uh, Becky's going to make some, some of her, her things, and we're going to, we're just going to kind of make it homey. That's awesome. Yeah. Kind of a homey atmosphere, and we're going to hang pictures. We're going to, I'm going to have some of my husband's pictures from the Army yes. made up, and we're going to hang those and some family pictures. and. That's awesome. That would be really neat. Yeah. yeah. We're trying, just trying to make it just so it's homey and friendly. Right. Right. That's awesome. So if anybody's out there listening and you have any questions, you could give us a call. Yeah, the number's up on the screen, I believe. Right there. <coughs> where, excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> I didn't know which way to turn. I know. <laughs> and get that elbow up. As long as you put your hand get your in elbow your up. Right, right. <laughs> I know what you're going through. My allergies are, are, are really right. out. Allergies are. Yeah. Uh, everybody is. Everybody is uh, really. So Pat, you said Pat's pastries, and Pat, what was the Pat's other? Pat's pastries. It's just, it's, it's Pat's Pat Pat pastries, pastries, and it's Shaw family breads and brews. Okay. Because eventually he'll have his. Yeah, that's me. Brews up here. 
Shaw family what? Uh, Shaw family breads and brews. Okay. We're trying to think of a catchy name and nothing. I like that. Nothing's catchy to you, huh? But that at first, was nothing was catchy, and Dwayne said, "Mom, there's something with your name because people know you." Right. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, what am I gonna put? What am I gonna put? And it just came to me. I said, "How about this?" He goes, "That's perfect." <laughs> right. That's pastry. But I said, "I also shops. want the the, the family." Cool. Yes. Uh, I, I want the family right. because family, we're all going to be there. I like that bread and brew. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you can put all kinds of things on bread. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can drink that brew right with it. So no, but uh, we'll have a lot of different things, and we're going to be trying different things, and just kind of watch every. And you aren't going to ever know what you're going to come in and see. Right. <laughs> so it won't and be that's good. That would right. be good because right. they'll keep coming back to see what you're Right. Well, and when I go somewhere and I see the same thing or if yeah. I go to a restaurant and I've had everything there, I'm like, okay, what do I want now? Mm -hmm. That's why we thought we'd alter it. We kind of switch it around and change it around. And right. Well, oh, that's good. And something a little bit, off, not off the wall crazy, but a, kind of a different sound. Right. Just, yeah. Right. Well, then I'll just put my order in for some pencil of bread right now. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, when my mother-in-law made that, it was it was like a treat for us. We just ate and ate. And you know, Earl was he always made well, he always made bread, but he had we have a bread machine, but we can't find the like the he's got he can get the yeast, but there was like a bread mix. Oh, mix. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he can't find him anymore. Find him? Mm -mm, that's what he said. Hmm, I, don't I don't know, know if he's. Not looking in I don't know where Country Mart used to have it. That's I think yeah. that's where we used to get it. But I, I have to I go online know. and all Maybe that. not oh, you enough know people are making it anymore. It, Maybe. it could be. Got a brand. He he would get these things, you know, like every, every so many years for something out at work. He right. would get something and he asked me if I wanted a bread machine and I said, Are you gonna use it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I had one and I was using it, oh. and we were eating a whole loaf of bread every meal. Oh Dave yes, and, I. Oh, and yes. so I, he said, "No more bread," and I said, "No, not for a while because it's putting on the pounds." Right, and I'm telling you what, it the difference in the taste. I know it's just it, so good you can't is. quit eating. Oh, it comes high. And we yeah. each oh. got a, and we each and got a heel. Right, <laughs> the heels. I told him, you can have the inside. I want the heels. <laughs> can you yeah. imagine all these loaves we've got coming right. out? Right. sit there and like, no, no, no. And then it's just like. <sighs> you saw them by the slices, but we want the heels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to have some to sell, heels. some some breads, and then we're going to use some of the breads for our sandwiches. And oh, that's awesome. And then uh, Jim makes up uh, focaccia bread. Did you ever have any of his focaccia I've bread? I've never ha had any It's of like an Italian it's it's like a it doesn't raise it's more it raises it's a little flat bit bread like, like flat, flat bread. bread and it's got all the the spices like you would have oh. in your your spaghetti you know, like your mm -hmm. pasta sauce mm -hmm. it goes with pasta sauces and things you oh. can have it I so haven't it had that with, year so it would go like with your spaghetti and mm -hmm. stuff oh my gosh I had an Italian aunt and, and she used to make that for and then you bread. would slice oh, it my you slice it he usually and makes it in little. Oh, he makes squares. it in the rolls. No, she oh. he makes it in the like thing where yeah. you sliced it off. And yeah, he it. just made it. He made it easy because we would take it to market. So he would make it in little squares in, oh. in the pan. You know, like a pan, and he's got one of those mm -hmm. little dividers that, as it as it bakes, it makes little makes individual rolls. Oh, so it's that you'd have little 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 portions. Right. Uh, that's oh. good. And that'd much. probably be good for your sandwiches mm -hmm. too. That's right. what I was thinking. You could cut it in half and put. Oh, with something yeah. on oh it. gosh, yes. <laughs> I'm so, getting hungry. Yeah. And we're probably going to have like, because I, I went online looking at different, because I know everybody's thinking healthy. So for sandwiches, I thought I'll give them the option of uh, a bag of baked Lay's, which is right. more healthy. Right, oh, the bake, yeah. Or like if I, I was going to make like some coleslaw in little portions, oh. so you could have chips or slaw with it. Oh. And then we're going to have, like, for a dollar extra, if you want a cookie, we're, we're going to have the, the big okay, cookies. Okay, so like a little, yeah. um, oh boy, soup sandwich or something. Yeah. S sandwich and snack yeah. or whatever. Yeah. For, yeah. Oh, well, we'll have them all, or, you know, we'll have a, a bunch of different kinds of cookies. You know, the, the big, majority, right. big cookies. So at Christmas, do you make the ones with the icing on it? Or like at Easter, do they? Well, do we will. Oh, you we'll, will. Okay. We'll be making some. Okay. I couldn't remember last year. 
We didn't, well, we weren't open at Easter yet last year. And we were just kind of getting, and the more we got into it, the more we expanded and expanded and expanded. And the kids would be there, Mom, do you know how much you're making? And then I'd come home and i said, I ran out. <laughs> <laughs> the oh people in the town have God. been wonderful. They yeah. have just been so wonderful yeah. that's down there at the market. I mean, yeah. yeah, there's some good people here. That's a great thing. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's in the, kind of like in the, well, it's not in the middle of town, but it's in the middle of everything we have in town. It's a good spot. Because you go around, mm -hmm. you know, and you have the bed and breakfast, and uh, then you have Audubon's and, and um, um, Sarah's. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's just, and I know everybody, they, they say, oh, we just love it down, downtown. Yeah. We just love to have you downtown. Oh, absolutely. It, even the people down, um, like Common, Common Ground, you know, that would be something. They, ha you they have muffins in there. They have that, right. But I mean, now they've got wanted... a couple of different breads in there that they didn't have. I don't know where they get their, I don't know. their things from. I don't know. But yours would be homemade. Yeah, well, ours is homemade. <laughs> you know, and they still have their drinks. Just a right. good old fashioned. They do overly yeah. you know, sandwiches yes. every once in a while. Well, and yeah, they were good. and that's yeah. I was really amazed how people would come and you know week after week and they go, you can't find anything homemade. And I, no, you and I can't. didn't didn't realize. I'm like, you know, really it is. Everything is brought in frozen yeah. and thawed. Mm -hmm. And they're even doing that with meat, which really irritates me because you're not supposed to refreeze meat. No. How many people buy that thawed out sausage and that thawed out chicken and take it home and freeze it? And, and a lot. And you're you don't not realize supposed it was. To. Right, because right. it's not marked previously yeah. frozen. Right. And I think the government ought to put a stop to that. Right. Yeah. I mean, it would only take one time from one, just one person, just one person to lose their life over something yeah. that silly. That's why I go out to Jack's Market and buy my sausage and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's the best place. Yeah, that's not frozen. No, no. I, I like their mm -hmm. stuff. But you go out there and you spend fifty dollars and oh, yeah. you got oh, so much it's food. Like, that's just oh, gonna, oh, how am I ever going to eat all this? Right. <laughs> like a roast. And then you're putting like five pieces of ham on a sandwich. Or right. <laughs> <laughs> well, when it comes to the roast, I usually have them cut it in half because it's me and Earl. And then if I know I'm going to have more people, I just Cook both Two, of them. Yeah. You know, um, hamburgers the same way. I'll buy that great big thing, but then I'll divide it up. Divide it up. I even pat my patties out. Oh, yes. I and if too. you do them in those fold over bags, mm -hmm. stick a hunk of meat in there and then close Sad. the bag up and smash it all around and yep. make it nice and round. Yep. That's that, exactly It works <laughs> really good, yeah. And then you can freeze all them in a big bag. Right. And that's what I do. That's what I do too. Yep. Absolutely. So, we can't wait. <laughs> Won't yeah, be long. Yeah, we're real excited. Just for watch. You. I'll be posting, and I'll, I'll uh, get it out as soon as. And just as you're driving by, I'll have a sign out. The, the, the open, day open, night. open. Huh? <laughs> I'll have a big sign out. Open, open, open. <laughs> yes. I don't think you'll have a parking spot. <laughs> for all well, the that's gonna. You that's can gonna always, be, uh, I, and I know I saw a lot. Sometimes of that street is really crowded. Oh, I, sometimes I couldn't park there when I, when I came there. <laughs> right. Um, you know yeah, it's a shame the there's no yeah. parking in the back there anywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, and, maybe and I, yeah. I'm sure Tom doesn't, he doesn't mind when people park, you know, because I know a lot of people that come to market, they park there and went, you know, around town or something, and he, as long as you don't tear it up. So you talking about where you had your, like, Our the market, yeah. now? Oh, down yeah. at the, yeah. at the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, because I, I, saw, I, saw I saw a lot of people park, you know, at the edge, you know, Right. Down further when there was no parking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then when they get that other one open, well, it is open, isn't it? Behind the, over where the building was at, the university extension. Oh, it is oh, open. It is. And they, yeah, it's they're open. putting up the canopy. It's almost up. Yes. Is there going to be a canopy there? There is. And one. a garden. Mm -hmm. I thought it's they up. were going to do and a garden. And you know what? I just thought of something. Um, I'm assuming, I don't know this, so if somebody's watching and knows this, but could they, if somebody really wanted to, they could go over to the Lions Park. Oh, they? and yes, and eat. They could yeah. go in, they could take oh, yeah, we've yeah. Got, we yeah. took our lunch in there already. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think I've so. been in there several times. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I know there are a lot of places I've seen just right. driving that people could go to. Mm -hmm. But that parking pl that parking lot, sometimes it's crowded with cars, but everybody likes to park up by Dewberg in that parking lot there. Oh, yeah. Right. And sometimes you can't even find a parking place right. anywhere. Okay. I mean, the whole the Third whole Street's side. full, yes. all the way around is full. That happened to me. And up I, on the side streets are right. full. I had to drop an order off down in front by the courthouse there one day. I'm like, oh my gosh. I had to park at the end of the Southern Hotel and carry everything over. Oh, you there know what you could do? Fun. Call them. Yeah. And stop in the handicap for a minute. Oh, and yeah. They could come out and get it. Yeah, could have done that. Yeah, because I did that when I voted. That's where I pulled in. But the first time, the second time it was full, so I just it, pulled it in a plane park really and called them. Oh yeah. I don't know. It was, was court days. I think maybe. it was the cook. Well, it was during over the weekend. It was a oh. walk, I think. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, so it I'll was have very to get, crowded. I'll have to, to get See? into all the different things that are yeah, going right, on. Right, yeah. right. And like what, the Christmas walk? You'll be able, I mean, you know, Jerifat. Look at that. You're right in the prime area yeah. for Jerifat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, Emma, I'm so excited. We're going to get yeah. her business. Oh, I'm going to have to hire you guys. <laughs> you to help me. Your, prom <laughs> your, pr your promoters. <laughs> <laughs> what were your promoters? Advertising. Oh, my gosh. I was just. Well, I think it was because once I found out where you all were, and I, I didn't get down there as much as I wanted to, and it just seemed like on the weekends, my grandkid, my granddaughter would have something, and, well, there no, were baseball games, or, shot, yeah. you know, and I couldn't get well, down there. Well, there's a lot of people, they go, oh, I forgot about you on Saturday. Right. We're this way now, they can come any day. Absolutely. And they don't have to buy a whole bunch of stuff to try to make it right. all week. Right, right. Can they can it. come and buy it as they want. We could go right. each day. <laughs> and come every day. Yeah. So when they get down to the summertime, is that going to be open down there every day too then? The market? No, um, it would just be Saturday. And just Saturday. Probably Wednesday again. Wednesday and Saturday. If yeah. I can work it out that I have enough help to, to go down there for yeah. me. Which we will be closing at 4 or 5, so, you know, I'm sure, you know. Right. We Were you open something. Wednesday evenings down there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, oh, okay. From uh, 4 to 6. 4 to 6. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I knew you were open, but I just can't eat all that stuff without gaining weight. <laughs> so I tell everybody oh, about you, but I don't come and, I don't come and uh, support you that often <laughs> because of that. Yeah. Every little well, bit helps. She's, I was gonna and say, I did she's the, got all kind yeah. of other stuff, though, that, you know, like, like right. she said. Any kind of jellies, and yeah. oh, I tried their plum. We had it. pickled okra, and uh, not okra, um, jalapenos. Oh, pickled goodness. jalapenos. Uh, what did I, I had so much different things? I can't even think of everything we've made. I know, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to go by that table. To apple butter. I made apple homemade apple butter. Mm -hmm. I think I bought some of that. I think. Oh, that's good. <laughs> now, will that be stuff that you'll be able to sell in your shop? No, no, I don't no. Think, I don't so think like so. the jar, the the jarred stuff, you won't be able to. Yeah, have. that okay. will have down there. Okay. So the week, so on Saturdays when I need jellies or any of that stuff, I just go down there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now I have a question. What? Um, you know, if we get all that, um, we get those jars. Can you use those jars? Oh yeah. Can you bring them back to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, if anybody has any, they can bring them back to us. And because okay. it was so hard to find jars this summer. Cause, oh, I bet. Was it really? Everybody. Well, first I guess they probably had a shortage on jars because mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. factories, oh, you know, COVID and right. all that. And then a lot of people that were laid off because of COVID, they planted gardens, so they all canned stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. And so it oh, just, I remember. it you was hard to find jars. You couldn't find them. Yeah, I mine. remember on Facebook one time right. they were wanting jars for and canning. I, it was there bad. was a lady that want, was making some stuff and, and I knew her and I had some pints. I have lots of them. I think I probably had maybe a dozen. And um, I said, well, I'm not using these. And I just give them to her. But, you know, the ones that you have, I thought, well, I, could, I don't want to, I'm not throwing these away. Some of these. No, we can use them because good. I've got new okay, lids and rings. So. Good, good, good. Because we just, you know, sterilize them and right. everything and wash right. and sterilize them and we can use them again. Right. Well, that's good to know. But so no, if anybody's we'll, got any. So do you take, like, the pint, the pint jars and the, the little mm -hmm. ones? And the quarts, too. Oh, the and the quarts, too. Yeah. All right. And the little jelly, jelly jars, yeah. too. Yeah, the jelly jars, yeah. 
Okay, so if anybody's listening and they have those, Pat's Pastry, yep. you can use them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but um, it'll be, we'll have, hopefully we'll have a big little market down there. Well, it sounds like it, Pat. All the different breads that you would just, I don't think I've ever heard of any of them. I don't think. Till, till I, till my son really got involved with me, I didn't either. You didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just kind of the stuff that he He's makes given me some of his recipes that oh, he uses. okay. So you're going to have bread at the shop, though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then Jim, uh, the one that works at Oberly's, uh, uh -huh. I know he's, he's sat there and he's been, been working with breads and buying all the little tools to make Kaiser rolls. Uh -huh. Oh, my God, they look so good. Oh, my goodness. And his breads, and see, he made sourdough bread. and here be in competition with Missy out there. Mm -hmm. They can sell bread out there, too. Oh, Missy oh, sells yeah. bread pudding. Oh, so she, bread sells bread. Bread. she does. She yeah. sells bread, bread yeah, pudding, pudding, so yeah. they could, he could sell his bread. Absolutely. <laughs> and it'd probably and go over good. Yeah. Say, hey, yeah. there you go. Get in. Little. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be. And I'm, I've done twenty some years of graphic arts. Now it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of gone totally off the wall. <laughs> Oh, Pat. I'm but so we had so much. I, I never ever, you know, we went up to the farmer's market the first year, and we had fun. But when we opened it down there, it was just like, I guess I was running it, and I could do. But you were. Right. I could make my own rules. Right. Kind of, because we were independent. We right. Were, we are just a, a right. you know, a goody and produce right. market. And we had so much fun doing all these different little off-the-wall things. and Yeah. If we want to do something, as long as it's within the health department right. guidelines, oh, absolutely. Wasn't anything really. right. So Becky, that you're talking about, is that um, the girl that was down there? She kind of had long hair. Becky Long. Um, she's the one with the um, the laser engraving. She she was like right next to us when. Yeah. Yeah. She was right next to mm -hmm. you, and she had some. Okay, mm -hmm. I know who you talk about that. She had it. She makes all kinds of. Uh, and I'm not sure how she does it, but it's some kind of laser. Right. I but saw that. I, I just didn't know her name. I saw. Yeah, she's she been made. coming to a few of them. I don't know how we got started. She started coming, and we did something. Uh, oh, at Halloween, um, whatever they had at Halloween in here. I don't know, some kind of walk or whatever. Oh, it was. We, uh, um, trunk and whatever no, it was in the it was downtown here. Yes. And so we set up by the Show Me Shop. The, right. And I'm not sure. I'm bad with names. Whoever the girls are at Show Me Shop. They go, oh, come up here and set up, you know. Oh, okay. So we set up right at the edge of the, uh, on, on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And uh, Becky came with me. You know, we were there. And so she's going to, I said, you want to come join us again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does she make? Does it's she a do? laser. Does she make jewelry wood. or? No, no it's not jewelry. I, isn't it like? Um, it's like bread, um, bread plate or uh, boards and uh, coasters and ornaments. Anything you can make out of wood that you etch designs oh, okay. and sayings. It was in. neat because I wanted to get something from her, and she wasn't down there the next week. And then I think I wasn't the next week when she was, and we just kept missing each other. But I see her now, and I'm thinking, I know you're the girl that was sitting down there by yeah. you. So now I know her. So name. she's going to be with <laughs> us a lot more, and then I'm going to carry. And I told her she can put some of a few of her things in up there. So that's awesome. So, so you always need a bread, a, a board to cut your bread on. Yes, yes. <laughs> she made she made some beautiful boards. Oh my gosh, yeah, she had some really pretty stuff. There was another lady down there that had um, that she had uh, pastries and um, and then didn't she do something with, with material? Uh, she had little wind socks and um, bowls and I can't think of everything. Those soup. Uh, they were like bowls yeah, you yeah. put in the microwave. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Carolyn Herman, yeah. yeah. Oh, is that who that was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got her on a project for me, which I can't talk about. Oh, it's for the kids. It's for well, the kids. Listen <laughs> to this. <laughs> I'm planning on surprising them right. when we start. Whenever she brings them in, I'm planning on surprising them with them. 
that so you of can't thing. say it now because then they there won't be no <laughs> surprise. They probably <laughs> wouldn't. Have, but you know what? It would only take the one person to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? You, you know what? Well, she posted <laughs> something today that. on Facebook. I'm like, mm, I hope they don't see it and they don't realize <laughs> what it is. What oh. it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they would realize. The only one maybe Wendy might, <laughs> because she was down there when Carolyn was there. But oh. uh, I mean, if she would see her post, but I don't know if she, if she would. Now is she yeah. from? Out uh, Carolyn, uh, they're in Bloomsdale, I Bloomsdale. believe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. But uh, she makes all kinds of, uh, of fabric things. She was making face masks and, uh, like I said, little, the, the bowls, you, or the little content, the cloth that yeah. you put the bowls in, and I remember everything. She's always got some, and I know she was making bags for her daughter. Her daughter has a in California, I think, and she had a vegan shop that she was. Oh, okay. So she was making bags. That okay. For her to put to sell the. So now, do you um, is if there's, are you looking for more people, more vendors to be down there? With yeah, you? if anybody wants to come, oh, okay. come on. Where we were hoping just to kind of fill the whole parking lot full of vendors. That's in the awesome. So yeah, we're expanding. We've got a bunch of new ones coming. So, but anybody's welcome. So. Oh, that's good. Just to bring know. your pop-up tent, and yeah. you don't want to get sunburned. Huh? It's just the idea you have to have a pop-up. Oh, you don't have to have one, well, but yeah. it makes better. it better. <laughs> it makes it better. Right. And it takes at least two people to put that up. Oh, Four is better. Right. Four yeah. is perfect, yeah. But, uh, no, I mean, we just, and I, we've had so many comments about people, like, oh, it's so nice to have different things to, to right. look at. So you not you down when I went that one weekend I was there and I know you had two other vendors I mean the the lady Carolyn you said mm -hmm. and Becky so, so I know those two were there and then you had then it was you and then there then it was the, the pro, yeah the produce yeah and so you had I mean you could spend and we money. always have the honey yes he he's not there every day so it's in it's in our stand if yeah I was gonna it. say I thought it was in your stand yeah. I yeah. take care of it for him but um, and I know uh, we're gonna have a lot of a lot more produce people are talking about coming they they were they asked me what you know well what should we plant I said, right. whatever you want right and I know Tom's planting all kinds of new we're expanding what we've you know what they have to offer we always got tomatoes and they were amazing Oh, he's I and he, I know he's going to plant tomato, uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, be um, pe uh, some peanuts. He wanted to plant okra. We're planting on having. So I like okra. I like fried okra. Oh, I know. I do too. Girl likes the pickled slimy stuff. And oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I call it pickled slimy. His mom used to always make it like. Oh, Dave loved that yeah. stuff. Oh my God, so he how, just loved so it. So you stick that in your mouth and just slide right down. Yeah. Oh, I just no, I Mom used to eat mouth. it all the time. I'm like, ooh, that's <laughs> oh, so gosh, disgusting. Right. How can you eat that? She would boil them. Yes. Yeah, and then, and then and put it in its vinegar and something, I think. Yeah. Whatever it was, it made it slime. Well, sometimes mom just salt and pepper them. Oh, made. really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think I got some peppers. I too. did eat a fried one one time, and I thought it was pretty good. I like the fried ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, look at me, the fried and donuts and... All this fatty stuff is so we're gonna good. Have you, we're going to have you healthy, too. Uh, right, right. <laughs> we're going to have okay. you healthy, too. Right. <laughs> But you know, sometimes um, just just the, the dumplings. If if anybody likes real dumplings yeah. and not and not have to buy them from the store, it's such a difference. Well, and then Jim's uh, expanded to. Um, I don't know if you had had any of his uh, tomato noodles. You ever have those? No. Oh, oh my gosh. Those are good. Those are so good. They're tomato. Like a, they're they're made with tomato powder. Oh. And he actually took tomatoes. The uh, sundry the. The dry tomatoes and pulverize them into just almost and put them mm -hmm. in. Oh. They are really, and then we make uh, spinach noodles. Do you have those? Yet? Well, I, I've never had those, the but I've seen some noodles down there. We've got spinach noodles. And so, I don't like spinach. So, how do you, what do you cook them with? I mean, do you make those like with dumplings? I mean, well, not dumplings, you would just like cook soup? them. You would just cook, cook them, and, and a lot of them would put Alfredo sauce on them, or mm -hmm. just uh, like olive oil and salt and pepper, and have them with some of them do it with shrimp. Butter. 
Yeah, butter. Some of them put it with shrimp, some with chicken, pork. I mean, they oh, okay. Anything. So these are just noodles that you They're can just make. plain noodles, but they just have a spinach flavor. Oh, I see. A little bit. So right. they would be good with anything. Yeah, it's good eggs. with anything. Yeah. And it's so funny, kids come and the moms don't tell them what, what it is. Right. And they pick and they out go, these Can we have some more of those green noodles? And they don't. She's like, I love this because. They don't know they're eating vegetables. <laughs> right. They don't know that. And so like the tomato noodles, they're, you know what, I'm definitely going to have to try And we, you know, he, also, you he also made uh, butternut squash noodles. Oh, really? Oh, but is he freeze, I mean, just dry the, dry the? Yeah, we just dry them and just, dry just bag them up. And, and you do your tomatoes too then, huh? He, uh, your tomato? Those, yeah. He, well, he, at first he did powder, and the, mm -hmm. the powder, he ran on the powder he likes, so... He tried a different, which he, we gave him to a couple people to see if they thought it was good, and they go, oh, my God. And then he made, like, angel hair pasta ones. Oh, really? Uh, and he can do angel hair, too, so. Oh, see, that's what, that's what I like with spaghetti. So yeah. I can use those with spaghetti. Yeah. So he started, he, he's gone to, to making some of those, too. I think he I call them soup noodles, because when I was little. Right. When I was right. little, that's what they, they used. They used right. the little skinny noodles. Uh, so that's what I I've right. got I have them down on, on on the label as soup noodles, soup noodles. <laughs> <laughs> and they go people come by that don't realize them. I said well it's just a regular noodle but I I grew up right. you know, putting them in soup. <laughs> that's awesome. I got two granddaughters. Well, one that if you get, I don't care what kind of noodle, it could be a noodle or macaroni and cheese, and that girl would eat. She'd eat that every day. She loves buttered noodles. <laughs> And I was making them quite often. <laughs> I quit that for a while because <laughs> I liked them too. <laughs> so, yeah. well, that's exciting. I mean, just that, like you said, that you could fix that during the summer. You got, there you go. You got your tomatoes, you got your noodles, you've got, um, you know, when, when we had our garden, um, we lived up on Ridgeway and our neighbor across the street, Mr. Harder had, he had this huge, it was just him. And he he, he did, just liked the garden. Uh, huh? He just loved to garden potatoes and everything. So and then our in our yard across the street from we had the same. Only I did I canned all the time. So that was you know go to work, come home and can. That's just what you did. Yeah. You know we did that stuff. And so when he, we just got together, I think it was probably two years after we were up there together. Um, we just kind of combined our gardens like. He would make the potatoes and the, the corn and some of the beans and some of that stuff over there. And we'd do like the squash and the onions and lettuce and all that stuff. I mean, was, and during the summer, that's basically what we ate for all for summer. summer. Mm -hmm. We'd eat uh, squash and tomatoes. And oh, if they wanted, you know, if we wanted a meat, we fixed I it. Could, that I most time we ate vegetables. That's vegetables, what we did. yeah, because they're good the for you. Absolutely. Yeah. And my kids loved that stuff. I mean, they were excited. But, oh, I made chili sauce like crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, that Jim wants to start making uh, a homemade barbecue sauce or a home homemade ketchup. Really? Huh. We've been experimenting on homemade yeah, ketchup. Yeah, my aunt used to make that all the time. Oh, my gosh, dear Lord, please let me live a long time now. <laughs> so I can go down here and get all this stuff. get all those goodies. Try all this stuff, yes. But, you know, and that's that would be something neat, too, because some of that stuff you could probably, uh, especially like your noodles and stuff, you could, if somebody was away from here, they could uh, place orders and oh, you I, could send I, that kind of I've stuff. Started, I started, mm -hmm. over Christmas, I, I uh, mail-ordered candy. And then I have just mailed all, uh, mail ordered a order from so some noodles and some uh, taco sauce and stuff right. like that, which I had to bag up real good. Right. But I sent that to Tennessee, so. Oh well, see, you've already done it, already. yeah. Yeah, Pat, you're going to have to have a, a big great. building pretty yeah. soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give your address again, and yes, it's and one. Then? It's one two three Merchant Street between uh, Bill's Photo Lab and the Audubon Hotel, right across from Sarah's Ice Cream. There Very go. good description. That's the way yeah, I have it. Nice absolutely. little triangle there. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Patsy's. Pat's Pastries. Pat's Pastries. Pat's. And hopefully they'll be open by 
Yeah. Open by, by the, the first, end, by the first, yeah, of April. by the first part of April, maybe a little bit sooner. So just kind of as One you're going weekend. by, yeah, just look to see if you see a big sign that says "open." Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> it'll just automatically turn that way. Right. <laughs> right, and she will be taking orders if she doesn't have what you need, or yeah, yeah. or if you want more. If you have a special occasion coming up, check and see if we can do it. Um, we're kind of flexible right now anyway, so we're trying to help people out, get get whatever they want, so. Wonderful. Now, uh, the Audubon doesn't like you work, like you work, and like you parking on their parking lot, though, do they? It's more know. for... It's, it's for them, I think. I noticed a lot of tourists do park there, but and it's as never... long as it's not their their hours. Uh, they're, they're busy they hours, yeah. The same. But yeah. I know if you go right off their parking lot, there are a lot and of people right. can park Word. there. Like turns across, off of asphalt. Well, across at the, at the end of the asphalt. At the their end of the asphalt. property goes to the asphalt, I mm -hmm. think. So, like, down toward our area there, you could park. Okay. Yeah. So where you have the... Yeah, the, that's just like between where we had it, you know, where everybody was parking and right. the edge of Audubon's. Right. And if you're one of the lucky ones that get right up there. First. Yeah, that's going to be the, <laughs> but I'm sure there are, there's there's plenty of parking spots. Well, there's not too many goes to Bills because he's not open that much. No, he said he might just start coming in more often though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd take advantage of your well, people. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he might have to come. He's been been really really good. Him and he and him Patty. So they've been that's really great. Good. I really like. I can't it, wait yeah. to be in there full time with them. Yeah. <laughs> And now, Audubon's been really there for their, their, every time oh, I'm in there, they come by and wave. So yeah. Mary Beth and her husband are amazing. They, I don't good, know that well, but people. I'm getting to know them. Yes. And, and yeah. Jamie. Yes. Jamie. Oh and I. yes. You know, and you know what? You never know when when you got all this bread coming up and and all these noodles and up. You know, some of these businesses might be ordering that for yeah. for their sandwiches. Yeah. If they want anything, I mean, they can talk to us and see. If what you can do. Yeah, if we can work it out. Um, so this is exciting. I do have a question. Is there a place, let's see, am I behind, um, well, it would have been behind the electric office. Oh, oh that's yeah. there. Yeah. there is. He's got private parking marked oh, up it? there, but you might talk to him and see. But, but that would just be a cut through there. But then he might not want you walking on his lawn. Yeah. Because oh, that would make you know a path. What? I never thought about that. That would make a that's path. That's right. The parking lot's back there. But yeah, but yeah that's prob probably his own now. He's got private parking there. Does he? Yeah. Who's that? I guess oh. Edward Jones parks Edward back and there. I and guess Lance Lance's. Drury's there too. Is yeah. It yet, well, he owns it. Okay. Lance, and I, I think he Edward even Jones lives there. there till yeah. Well, until they got the sign up. Well, Sunday I, I thought walked, it was I always there. I'm like, how long has that sign been there? It's not yeah. been there that long. Yes, yeah, Edward Jones. He just, uh, like, guess in the last month, he just oh, moved okay. down there. Because he was up in the building where St. Vincent Paul, de Paul has their Christmas shop. Oh, yeah. And when he got out of there, then he went. He went down there. Yeah. Because Bill uh, and Chris Overly bought that building. Mm -hmm. And they're letting that. Or St. Vincent de Paul used it. Well, I just saw that. Where it had Christmas store, something. Yeah, that's St. Vincent de Paul. Okay. Yeah, they've got a little Christmas store. Oh my I gosh, they that. get the nicest Christmas decorations in there. I got a if anybody Easter needs things. them, they're beautiful. So, you, is it open now? I think uh, so. They're I supposed to be open. I heard they were going to be open the, every day. Oh, yeah, I don't brick. Know. Yeah. Yeah. I, they I know were, they were open over the weekend. Yeah. Well, then I don't know if they're open just on yeah. weekends or if they're going to be open. I heard they were going to be open. Oh, okay. Probably as long as they can give uh, volunteers. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Right. I know yeah. I've got a bunch of a cute little Easter things to put in my window. Now I just have to get the grandkids well, had a bunch to help me. <laughs> he had a bunch of cute things in the window. When we yeah. worked there at Christmas time, like before COVID, I worked in the Christmas shop down. They had it in the front of that mm -hmm. the extension pack. built. Yeah. And my gosh, the people that came in there and bought stuff. I didn't a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, oh, five dollars. Oh, never been in there. Oh, oh my gosh, Martha! <laughs> I never even knew it was there. And then back oh, in the back, yeah. there's all kind of stuff. Like if you want plates to give, get cookie yeah. gifts or cake gifts on, they got all kind of I stuff. So that's, like that's, that's this now, or it was here before? It was here. 
Gosh. And you said it was at the Packy Room? And yeah, for three or four or five years, long time. I had That's no idea. Yeah. Well, whenever I, we had the, um, the picnics up at our, at our church out uh -huh. in my garden, and I took care of the auction, I'd go down there and get all kinds of new little odds and end things and make oh. Christmas baskets and stuff. And I was their best customer. Well, I best so. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. But they have really neat, I mean, they even had um, name brand that when people die, they just go in and clean out their yeah. house. So they got all kind of really, some stuff, they, they've got oh, they a boost down in St. Stuff. Mary's too. Oh, do they? Yeah. I didn't know that. So they put stuff that um, they are like mm -hmm. antique mm -hmm. stuff uh, down there. Chris was taking care of it, but then she had that. So I don't know if Rowena is doing it by herself now or what. But anyway, oh, they have booths down there. I don't know if they still do since right. the shops are open here. But they have, it's like the front building. That is new. But in the back there where you pull in that glass mm -hmm, window, mm -hmm. they, they've had a shop back there for quite a while. Ever since the Packy was tore down. Yeah, when they See, tore I've never the been in the one in back. I didn't know if they had anything oh, back there. Oh, I didn't know they was yeah. back there. I That's where they went, went after Packy was torn down. Mm -hmm. I had no idea the store was open. Shortly so afterward. If anybody's watching this, you learned something tonight. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't know that, I did well, not. Well, there's know always that. things in St. Jen that keep switching around. You got to really be attentive to what's oh, going on. I haven't yeah. been downtown in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> well, me and my daughter took a walk. Oh, it was. Um, one evening, and it was beautiful, a beautiful evening, and uh, we walked down on Main Street, and it just happened to be like those, the rustic, yeah, the rustic store, right. those three yeah. sort of rust, those, yeah, anyway, they were all open, and um, we learned a lot that night, <laughs> but anyway, so Pat, we can't tell you how much we appreciate you coming on tonight, Let I had fun, know. I had fun, yes. I've never done this before, so. right, <laughs> <laughs> well, you did great, yeah, you knew. see, it's just like sitting and talking, and yeah. that's what you do, and, and that's and, what we do, <laughs> and when you feel relaxed, and you know that, then things just come out, and you're excited about your store, your, your products, and all that stuff, and we're excited that you're here, mm -hmm. and it's, you're gonna it's gonna be fun, the kids and I working together, and it's, it's going to be different. It's, it's going to be, be fun. Different, different and fun. So Wendy says, Absolutely. she said, because we've got some orders for some cupcakes for different things. And she, I go, Wendy? And was, she goes, this looks like on top of the daycare or her preschool. Right. I said, guess I'm going to have a weekend and an evening job, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is right. <laughs> but just think, once you hit it big or it gets big and it gets too big for that building, guess what? Then they're all going to be full-time workers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because it's, everybody, I know everybody's like, how soon, how soon? You know what, we didn't have our microphones on. Yeah, they're on. They're ready. Oh, oh. Okay, so I guess we are ready Spam. to sign off if you guys are ready. <laughs> Thank to. you so very much. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Pat, Thank you very see much, Oh, we'll be there. We will. Oh, we will we'll see. be there. Be there. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. We'll, we'll keep around. checking we'll and out. watch and share on face. Put share on so we can oh, share yeah. it on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. It won't be won't be long, hopefully. Right. Right. Good. Okay. So Okay, Charlie, I guess we're ready to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say good night. Yeah. Good night. So good we'll night. say good night to everybody. Next the twenty fourth. No, yeah. Yes. Yeah. The twenty fourth will be our next one. And you know, there is a...